Hello and welcome to another one of my how to videos. In this video, I will show you how to improve the performance of your computer. Now, I will be downloading a program called Game Booster. And yes, this program will improve the performance of gaming. Okay? But it can also improve the performance of uh, many different applications on your computer. So, I'm going to see that download.com whatever you want to call it and I'm gonna get this thing called game booster now the price it's free so that's the right price so let's get this right now okay so now I'm gonna run this application okay do you want to run this file yes I do okay. I'm just gonna click accept it's fine. Create a desktop icon. Okay. Launch Game Booster. Your system will switch to gaming mode automatically when you launch a game. You can drag and drop new game shortcuts here to add or click add button. You can also click configure button to build your own game booster settings. Okay. I actually just have one game, Grand Theft Auto. And I have used this before. Um, let's see, so you could configure this. And basically, um, let me expand this a little bit. This will give you a list of all the unnecessary services that it will shut down when you switch to gaming mode. And if you, for instance, if you want your print folder, like you plan on printing, okay you always basically just uncheck that 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 would mean you do not want game booster to interfere with that uh service so you could print but most of these services right here they have been identified that they could be safely shut down and they will not interfere uh especially with your gaming performance and in reality you could improve the performance of your computer dramatically by using game booster and if something doesn't work uh for instance windows image acquisition you're trying to scan something and you apply the game booster settings and all of a sudden you can't scan well that's because you know the windows image acquisition service has been disabled by game booster what you can do is basically uncheck that so it doesn't mess with it so you can always scan and, and enjoy the the increased performance that game booster gives you so here are additional services uh, none of these are checked but if you know if, that you do not require these services when you're gaming like this is my backup software um, you know I don't want this stuff uh, to be running when I'm gaming because there's no reason you know so you could just um, check those and those will be shut down let's see what, what do they have for others they have a couple more things. This will clean your RAM, optimize memory usage to increase available physical memory. Okay, so there's a lot of great options. And let's see, processes. This will also shut down processes, okay? Um, so far, the only process it's going to shut down is iTunes Helper. I don't need the DivX update. Um, and it, here there's a short description of what these things are, okay? I don't need XFast USB. I don't need True Image Monitor when I'm gaming. Um, I don't need Google Chrome when I'm gaming. Oh, look at that. By clicking that, it identifies several Chrome processes. That's because I have Chrome open right now. Um, Subliminal Blaster. That's something I use. Apple photo streams. Okay, so let's see. If I could click task manager, let's see if it gives me some information. Um, okay. Available total memory 8100. Available 6100. Free 1300. Okay. So let me just copy that real quick. This way, we'll be able to do a quick check. Let 
Okay. So let's just check this because we did open Photoshop. Things might have changed. Yeah, you know, we're going to have to do it again. Make it less confusing. Okay. So with Photoshop open, look at my memory. 8100 total cashed, uh, 4800 available, 5800 free, 1000. Okay. So now I will apply my custom settings in Game Booster and then I will launch Game Booster by clicking on the boost button. Okay. So I clicked on um, switch to boost and now I'll click start boost. And look, the chronic true image home schedule of service has stopped. And you can see the progress. And since I am taping this video right now, I definitely see that Game Booster's performance has been impacted severely. Normally this is something that happens really quick, but you know, I am taping a video and that is causing Game Booster to run a lot slower. So normally when you do this, it will run a lot quicker. And you can see 27 services stopped. Performance after boost enhanced by 42%, okay? 27 services stopped, six processes stopped. And now let's, let's look at Task Manager. So I'll open up Task Manager. And let me open up Photoshop. So we'll just compare, okay? So this is the live um, task manager. This is the old one. So um, available memory before I had 5,800. Now I have 6,500. So that's, that's pretty much almost a gig of memory free. Okay. Well, available memory, I should say. Uh, free memory. I have, I have 300 meg more available for whatever I want to do. And look at this physical memory before 27% uh, I'm assuming was taken up and now only 19% is taken up look at my processes before I had 94 processes running and those 94 processes are basically you know using your CPU which is slowing down your CPU that you could be using for other applications or gaming so now I have 74 processes uh, instead of the 94 so that's you know that's 20 processes have been shut down which is you know which is really good so game booster it does work uh, it's a lot of computer geeks they shut down processes and services uh, themselves it's it's time consuming I mean to shut down the process by yourself you know you have to first identify a process you don't need so let me let me sort this. Um, let me get rid of something that I really don't need. Okay, this is a little bit blaster. So you know, us computer geeks will click on the process we don't need, right click it, end process, and boom, it disappears. Like Super Finder, here's another process. So that's the old way of doing it. The new way is to use Game Booster, and you could identify all your processes. And, and then you click game boost and all those get shut down and you want to put everything back you click restore and everything pops back look at that open chrome back up so very awesome software as you can see right here it even tells you temperatures which is pretty cool um, what other tools does it have it has a defrag tool Defrag helps load and run your games faster by quickly defragmenting the game or the game directory. You can drag and drop new games here or click add. So that's something you could do to improve gaming performance. Drivers helps keep hardware drivers up to date for better gaming performance. Another great thing, this actually helps you get the latest drivers that will improve your gaming performance. So all you have to do is click download and you'll get the latest ethernet or video card driver whatever it has identified that you need. There's additional tweaks. Tweaks tune up your system settings and registry for top gaming performance. You can enable all these items right here. You can just go through these. 
Uh, there's also a diagnostic. This function examines the key parts of your system that may affect gaming performance and cause crash or other trouble. The report can be saved and posted in gaming forums to consult with knowledgeable folks. So you can click analyze. So I'm gonna have this thing quickly analyze my gaming performance. And remember, I'm I'm taping a 1080p video right here, so obviously that's gonna task my computer. So it creates a report that you basically give to a computer geek. So um Another thing it does is it also tells you uh, your Windows experience scores, okay? So that's pretty cool. And by the way, if you want to know how to get this disk score of 7.9, just a higher score, check out my SSD videos on my YouTube channel. They will show you how to get that top-notch performance. So as you can see, this is a very thorough, a very easy to use program. It really makes tweaking your computer for optimum performance really easy. And you don't have to use it just for gaming. It has many purposes. I mean, if you want a faster computer, this thing will make your computer faster because you can turn off the unnecessary services and processes that you're not going to use anyway and boost your system performance right off the bat. I mean, you can use this to boost your video editing performance. You can also use this to improve your web browsing performance. I mean, there's so many ways you can use this to uh, basically improve the performance of your computer. I mean, whatever you do on your computer and you want a little extra performance, perhaps you do a little drafting like with uh, Chief Architect or CAD, this program can help you. You can configure what services to shut down, what processes to shut down, and if it doesn't work out, you can always revert to your old settings and go back to normal. It's that simple. So this is very easy to do. Um, it's pretty much automatic, you know? You could just do everything automatically. You don't have to uncheck your own services. This is just for, you know, for geeks, basically that want to tweak it even a little further, trying to get a little more performance um, out of this software and their computer. Well, thank you for watching another one of my uh, how-to videos for computers. I know this one will really help a lot of people out there, whether it's for gaming performance, or simply just improving the computer performance in general. You know, if you like this video at all, go ahead and click like and be sure to subscribe because I have lots of interesting how-to videos that could make your life a little bit sweeter. Take care.